Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a header and hero section uh, similar to HelpScout.com, which I think has a pretty cool design right here. So, go into Oxygen, um, click Add, and the first thing we're going to do is add a div, and this div is going to have the uh, background, and then we're going to tint it. Uh, so, I have an image. I've already uploaded it to the media library. If not, you can just upload it from your computer. Uh, and this is the image uh, right here. So you go select background, and then what I want to do is give this thing an overlay color. So I want to tint it blue. So I'm going to tint it um, to like a grayish, sort of a somewhat transparent grayish blue. And This right here uh, looks pretty good. Um, I'll make this big just for a sec so we can see what it actually looks like. And one other thing we're going to do is we're going to shrink the background image uh, so it's contained within the div. Um, or I should say covering the div. We don't need to contain the whole thing within the div. Okay, uh, there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and add a section. And then we're going to put our header in that section. So first thing, we've got a logo, then a menu, and then a uh, right menu and a call to action. So I'm going to add an image. And I already have our logo in here, so I'm just going to click that. And this is a bit too wide. That's too small. Something like that's pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add uh, 25 pixels of space on either side of this container. Uh, and I'm going to set this to float left. And now I'm going to add a div that's going to contain our menu right here. So go to the add section. I'll choose a div. And then I'm going to go to the more section and set this div uh, to float left. And then I'm going to go ahead and start putting some links uh, inside the div. So go to the Add section, I'll choose Text Link, and I'm going to give this link a class. I'm going to call it uh, Main Menu Link. And I'm going to set the uh, size of the link to 15 pixels. I'm going to use Source Sans Pro for this. I think they're using Whitney. Um, I think Source Sans Pro is a pretty cool font. So I'm going to go to Settings, Global Settings, uh, you know what? I've already chosen Source Sand Pro here, so great. Um, 15 pixel, I'm going to give it 400 weight, and I'm going to make it uh, sort of a gray, or almost a white, but I'm going to make it transparent, so it looks a little bluish gray. So it's white and 75% opacity. And uh, we'll call this Home. And then I'll duplicate this a few times um, with just some other link text. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some spacing on the edges of these links so they're not all cramped together. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some spacing on the menu itself so it's centered with the logo. So I'm adding some top margin, three, four, four pixels of top margin to center it. Uh, and now I want it to move away from the logo, so I'm going to add some left margin. All right, that looks uh, pretty good. So here's what that looks like. Now one other thing I'm going to do to these links to make them a little nicer is I'm going to add some letter spacing, 0.3 pixels of letter spacing there. Um, Okay, so there's our left menu, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this uh, to make the right menu. And I'm going to set this to float to the right, and then I'm just going to delete uh, a couple of these links. And we're just going to have a, uh, what are the two links up here? Login and sign up. So we're going to have login and sign up. And... We're going to remove the spacing off the left side of the, off the right side of this link, so there's more room for this thing. So we're going to go to uh, the ID for this one because we don't want to do it to everyone. We just want to do it to one, and we're going to set the margin to 
zero. Sometimes you have to set it to one and then click it back to zero to get it to take. Okay, um, and then for this, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make our page a little bit wider. I suspect that, yeah, Help Scout looks like it's maybe 10, 20, 10, 30 pixels wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this page to be 10, 20 pixels wide. That'll give us more room. Okay, cool. Uh, there's our header. Now we just need to throw in the sign up button. So I'm gonna remove the main menu link class from this, and then I'm just gonna style it uh, from the ID. So I'm gonna give it a it's white or 75% 75% opacity white, and I don't think the blue here actually looks too good, and I think the button's a little cramped. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a border on this, uh, which is going to be one pixel solid uh, white, and then I'm going to go 75% opacity again. And then I'm going to add some padding on this, so it looks like a button. Let's see, seven, eight, nine. Then we'll make this side a little better or a little bigger. Um, that's reasonable, and I'm going to add some border radius to round out the edge of the button. Okay, cool. Uh, and now one thing that's happening is the uh, nine pixels of padding here have pushed this right menu down by nine pixels. So I'm going to add nine pixels, negative nine pixels to the top margin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now this is centered again like it should be. Okay, um, that looks pretty good to start. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, uh, text on dark backgrounds, it looks a lot better if you change the uh, WebKit font smoothing setting. So I'm going to do this in the div in the CSS and JavaScript section, and I'm going to go dash WebKit font smoothing. Default is subpixel anti-alias, which looks great on a light background. On a dark background, just anti-alias looks a lot cleaner. So it makes fonts thinner, so you got to use a heavier weight for them. But I think this just looks, all in all, much, much cleaner, much, much better. Uh, I think I'm going to also, what are these? Are these 15 pixels? Should I make these 14 pixels? Let's see. No, 15 is good. 15 is good. Um, maybe I could make this bold over here. Add a little, yeah. Yeah, that's a little more reasonable for a call to action. Okay, uh, that's pretty good for our header. And now we're going to go ahead and add the uh, headline and call to action buttons down here. So I'm just going to add another section. I'm going to put a lot of padding on this one. Um, I'm going to go to position and size, container padding. I want to go with uh, 125 up here and then maybe 300 down here. And then I'm going to add a heading in and this is sort of a thin light pre-headline so let's make this white and then let's it's italic as well so we're going to typography italic and we're going to make it thin uh, 100 is too thin that looks pretty cool actually I'm going to go with 300, a little thicker. Um, and then we're going to duplicate this and make our uh, bold text. And we're going to make this bigger and very bold. Let's try 700. Um, bigger, um, not italic, and the lines here are pretty close together actually, and the letters are kind of packed in, so what I'm going to do is give it negative one pixel of letter spacing. See the difference between no letter spacing and negative one pixel of it? It just kind of packs the text together, and then for the line height, I'm just going to set it to the same as the uh, the same as the font size, 60 pixel line height. So that crams the text together a little more too vertically. Uh, for this, I think I want to put some spacing below it. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Um, 
light pre-headline and then the big bold text. And then we're just going to go ahead and toss in two buttons uh, below this. So I'm just going to use a text link. I better put some spacing below this text so we can see what's going on. So 40 pixels of spacing. Uh, this is going to be my call to action button. Buy it now. And see this is blue, sort of a light blue. And we're going to add a space as padding to this. Try 15 pixels on all sides. Maybe 10 pixels on the top and then 15 pixels on the sides. And okay, that's going to be white text and maybe 15 pixel bold. And we're going to add some letter spacing, just like we did up here on these menu links where we gave it uh, three pixel letter spacing. We're going to add some letter spacing right here, three pixels as well. Uh, this text is also uh, all caps, so I'm just going to go uppercase. You know, it really does look better lowercase though. It really does. Okay, uh, lowercase it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some border radius to make this button rounded out. Okay, um, there's our buy it now button. Maybe this should be a little longer. Um, the Help Scouts buttons are pretty small. I'm going to add some extra padding on either side of this thing. Okay, there's our buy it now button. And now we're going to duplicate this. And this is going to be our you know, learn more button, our, our uh, secondary call to action. So we'll add some margin here, uh, about 15 pixels. And then we're going to add a, we're going to remove the background. Now we're just going to add a border here. So we're going to go to borders, and then we'll just choose white, one pixel, solid. And you'll notice that this button's now one pixel bigger, or two pixels bigger than this button. That's because this button doesn't have a border. So to fix that, we're just going to go here, and we're going to remove, uh, one pixel of the padding from the top and the bottom. And now they're both the same height again. And this is learn more. Okay, so let's save this and take a look at the front end. You can go back to WordPress and then click the permalink. I'm just gonna copy this and load it on the front end. Okay, here's how this looks. This is a pretty cool hero section. Uh, and we did it in not much time. In fact, I think this is almost better than Help Scouts with the uh, thin text. Now, now that we've got this, what we're gonna do is make it fancy. We're gonna add some hover effects on the text, um, hover effects on the buttons. Help Scout has, they turn white when you hover over, the button color changes. So we're not gonna do exactly that. Uh, we're gonna try to make it look a little bit cooler, a little bit fancier. So first thing I'm gonna do is the links. Uh, when we hover over these, I want them to turn white. So I'm gonna go to the class main menu link. You just get that by clicking on any of the links and change the state to hover. And now we're editing the hover styles for these links. And I'm gonna just change this to white. So now normally they're like this, you hover over, they're white. But they turn white instantly, which is kind of boring. What we want is an animation. So we're gonna to go to CSS and JavaScript and enter in transition, 0.3 seconds, ease in, all. And that just means all properties that change on hover are slowly going to uh, animate. So instead of turning white instantly, it'll it'll sort of fade to white. So that's pretty cool. Um, what we could also do is add a border uh, below these links, kind of an underline when you hover. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go to border, and for the the default non-hover state, the original state, I'm going to create a bottom border of one pixel that's black but I'm gonna make it transparent, so you can't actually see it. Um, and the reason I'm making it transparent so you can't see it is because I want it to, you to slowly see it when we mouse over the lake, it's gonna fade in. So it's totally transparent now, but on hover, you're gonna it's gonna be white, and you're gonna be able to see it um, with let's say 75% uh, opacity. So let's save this and then go back to the original, go to hover, and as you can see, the border fades in. So let's take a look at that on the front end. That's pretty cool.
yeah, that's a very nice that's a very nice effect on the links right there. Okay, um, now we're going to go and make a little hover style for the sign up button. I'm thinking this bold text a little too heavy. Maybe we'll change it to 600. That's a little more reasonable. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same uh, transition property, transition point three seconds, ease in all. And then for this one, I think we're just going to add, uh, we're just going to set the background. Here, you know what? I only want to do that on hover though, don't I? So we'll go to hover and then black and maybe hover and it darkens a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. You hover, gets a little darker. Okay, that's cool. Let's do the same thing on this link too. So hover, uh, black background, 43% opacity, hover, copy and paste that in, and then we'll go back to the original state and set the, we'll just copy the CSS from here actually. Copy, paste, and here we go. Now we've got a nice hover effect on this. Okay, now we just need an effect on this button. Uh, help Scout just makes the button a little darker, um, which is okay, that's fine, Let's just, we'll just do that. Um, so I'll copy the background here, um, hover, we'll just make this a bit darker. Okay, and we're going to do that same uh, transition to make it smooth. Apply and save. And let's take a look on the front end. And here we go. Nice hover effects on the links. Um, nice hover effects on the buttons. Uh, very similar to Help Scout. I got to say, I think our version's a little bit cooler than Help Scout's because I think we have a cooler background image. I, I like the blue and gold combination. And I think the underline effects on the links is nice. And I think our typography is a little bit better, a little bit more readable, but not by much. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. What I'm going to do is actually componentize this header. So you're going to be able to get it from the add section, components. Uh, you know, I'll put it in design sets. I'll put it in, I'll make a video tutorials uh, design set, and I'll put this right there so you can load it onto your own site and take a look. And I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, but if you wanted to follow along, you go to op oxygenapp.com slash try, and you could fire up one of these test installations right here, and you could literally follow along, build this, so you don't have to buy oxygen. So, all right, thanks for watching.